All right, guys, Amar here. I am sitting down today with my friend, Josh. Uh, we recorded a previous conversation that we had, what, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, yeah. that we talked about Scott Oldford's um, SSF method. And so Josh wanted to do a follow-up conversation about what implementation of this would actually look like in uh in his business and so we just thought that we would record that and i've got a couple of different tabs up here to show you guys sort of what we're talking about and give you a little bit of visual stuff to follow along with so yeah josh can you just remind everyone quickly like what you what you do and then we'll just jump right into it sure who you are what you do the group yeah uh cool so my name is josh reef uh also known as coach josh uh, I uh, run a Facebook group for motivated men that want to meet and attract uh, women. And I also have a coaching program uh, that goes along with it uh, to help guys get more dates and to, that can turn into relationships and, and other things for them. Awesome. Cool. And so I just pulled up Josh's Facebook group here. And uh, we've got his website that we'll be running through and discussing in a little bit. And then I've also got uh, the... Let's pull up this image quick so that it's actually readable. Okay, so yeah, so then we have uh, Scott Oldford sort of uh, breakdowns. So there's, I guess, the SSF method, and now he's rebranded it as the ROI method. And then there's also the uh, program nuclear or something like that that I'm actually attending one of uh, Scott Oldford's event for in uh, in October of 2019 so looking forward to that Josh is making some notes quickly I'll give you guys a little play-by-play -play. yeah and maybe you can talk about the other ones because I'm not familiar with how they're related to this or any dif or any differences that you know so I don't really know many of the differences between this stuff uh, I was chatting with Monique the other uh, the other day um, that's Monique Lindner, um, and you guys should totally check out her stuff. She's got a awesome group for entrepreneurs, like entrepreneur coaching and stuff, a lot of good mindset things. And then, um, you know, she's impressive in her own right. And she was telling me she's been following Scott for some time. The SSF method was the initial sort of method that he talks about. And we'll be going a lot deeper into that onto this call. And then the ROI method. So SSF is for sidewalk, slow lane, fast lane. It's sort of a way of bucketing the leads in the funnel. And then uh, the ROI method, it seems like it's very, very similar, but Scott sort of rebranded it a little bit to focus on sort of what the point of each of those lanes were. So um, R is for relevance, O is for omnipresence, and I is for... It's not influencer, uh, it's, shit, what is it? I don't, I don't even know. Okay, yeah, so anyways, relevance, omnipresence, and then, I don't know, I'll look it up later, uh, see what the, uh, what the I is, and then I'm not sure what this whole program nuclear thing, I'm not really sure the difference, but I knew that if he sat down and had a similar conversation to the one that we're about to have right now, <laughs> I figured that if he does that for Zenmade, it's going to make us a lot of money uh, very, very quickly. So yes, are you ready? You got the notes. So, yeah, so Josh ready. has actually drawn out this matrix that we're looking at, uh, to make notes essentially, uh, on, you know, the sidewalk, slow lane and fast lane, which is probably a really amazing exercise for anyone to do for their marketing if they want to, uh, to take this sort of approach. So, yeah. yeah. So what we're doing here is we're taking this graphic that you're seeing and we're trying to map it out in regard to my particular business. So that's, I think what Mar is getting at is take this and what we're gonna do is just sit down and try and come up with a ways to fill out the boxes that would uh, then be implemented, that I would then implement in my business. Yeah, perfect. So uh, where do you wanna start? Uh, let's just start at the top. So the mindset pattern, um, maybe you can talk, I mean, we talked about SSF method before, but maybe we, you can talk more about what that really means for each of um, the mindsets. And we'll start with sidewalk and we'll try and figure out what that means for my business. Yeah, so just at a really quick high level. So the sidewalk is just for people. I mean, you can, you can read it here on the screen, right? The sidewalk are people that don't fully understand the pain or problem in their life. So essentially it's people that are part of your target audience. So in your case, I guess that would be 
dudes or single dudes, right? Um, yes, single men. Single straight men, I assume. Yes, right? single so, straight yeah, men. So, so the more like specific that you can get like there, the better. Um, and yeah, single straight men. And then, and you pretty much, oh yeah, who, who are like interested in taking action or maybe willing to take action with like their dating, that those are the people that you would want to like to express interest to move them from the sidewalk to the slow lane. But let's talk about this because this yeah. is where it gets a little confusing. So yeah. let's, I'm going to just read it again. Doesn't fully understand the pain or problem in their life or can't foresee their future problems. So that's not really what that is. That's someone who doesn't understand the pain. So they're not, they're not really aware of their problem yet, or they're not really aware of that pain. Uh, I wouldn't take that too literally. All that it means is that they're not yet searching out maybe necessarily an answer yet. It's not like they're like ignorant of it or anything, but they may not be actively looking, right? So, so for example, with Zenmade, the people on the sidewalk were trying to get them to raise their hands and to say, I'm a maid service owner. And they may have scheduling problems, they may not, but the very first thing is to identify them as part of our target audience. Yeah, right. so it's a bit confusing because I, I don't know, that just doesn't, I don't, I think he would have phrased it differently if that had been the case in terms of that, that box that we're looking at. Because like to me that, uh, when, if I think of that in terms of what he's saying there, I'm thinking more about um, maybe two different demographics. One that I didn't really think of before that are divorced men or, uh, separated men or recently that are not really realizing that they're going to be on their own soon and that they're going to need help with dating because their marriage is over and done with. And so they haven't really, they're kind of like all over the place. They're like, do they get their wife back to do this or happen? And then they're at that point where- Yeah, I, I think you're talking about a really specific situation though. Like well, no, we're, we're, we're talking about someone example. on the sidewalk. I know, but, but like that, yeah, that yeah. example isn't really helpful when we're, okay. when we're talking about this because it's too specific, right? Sure. Like that's not really what we're talking about. You can try speaking to those guys in the ad copy yeah, at yeah. some point, but right now that's not really relevant to this. Like really like- the like it's so one one place that I know that it does get a little bit fuzzy, particularly when I'm talking about this. Maybe I'll get some more clarity, uh, you know, when when I meet him or, or or whatever. But I really struggle with sort of like when it comes to sidewalk slow lane, fast lane. Is I always think of it as like the transition between them, right? And so that's probably more why I'm describing a little bit differently to like to what he's actually got written here. But to me, like the sidewalk is where you just get them to identify as being part of your audience that will need your help or could potentially need your help. Yeah. Right. Because that, I mean, it's just, that's the, I'm trying to figure out the sidewalk versus slow lane because slow lane understands their pain or problem, open to a solution, a process or method that can solve it. Yeah. So that sounds like the lane where I'm saying, okay, who has the problem? and see if they're open to a so solution. So read Fastlane. It, it, it's about comparing them. That, that, I think that's yeah. why you might be getting Fastlane confused here, right? So their pain. You can see it on my screen, by the way. You don't have yeah, to yeah. read it on Well, yours. it's just easier yeah. to read. I, I, my eyes are bad. Uh, understands their pain, understands your method, and wants to solve the problem, ready to take action. Yeah, so you see that what you just said for you, that that's Fastlane, right? If you're yeah. asking people like, who has this problem? Well, okay, no, 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 it's not Fastlane, because it says understands your method wants to solve the problem ready to take action so there's a big gap in there because they don't know who they don't know who the hell i am they never heard of me before they've they haven't read any books on dating they haven't taken any courses they haven't seen any coaches they haven't looked at anything they've kind of just done their thing focused on work fo go to the gym and are just in pain and they haven't even bothered to they may have googled something or read an ebook like two years ago but they haven't even bothered to look for the solution yet I'm not saying what you. What, what are you saying? What, what you, saying what you just described. Like they're not in the fast fast lane. What you yeah, just described so as a slow lane. Exactly. Okay. So now I'm. I, I've gotten the gap between slow and fast. fast. That's okay. what I wanted okay. to cool. establish. Okay. I still think we're missing the gap between sidewalk and slow. That's so, where so I don't si understand. Sidewalk is just like they're not even aware that like they're having an issue with dating. Right. That's what I'm getting at. So we've moved back towards that. So who are they in terms of my business? That's what I was trying to get back to. They're eligible. They're, 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 they're who we were outlining in the beginning. Your sidewalk is going to be the people that, um, that are like single males, right? But also, so I think that, I mean, that's what I said. So the one demo would be 
uh, soon to be divorced. No, that's no, 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 and then you get more specific on the content side. Okay, so that's a good distinction. All right, so single men. Now, that, now yeah. we're getting somewhere. So single men so is sidewalk. I, I like, I like. Yeah, I think you that 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 is a really good distinction. I don't know that I'd ever really verbalized that like before. That, yeah, like for for Zen Maid, for example, the sidewalk is any maid service owner. But but we exactly. talk about all sorts of very specific things. We go into very specific scenarios of how to start a maid service, how to scale your maid service if you already have 20 cleaners. Oh, yeah. Our content's all over the place, but it all fits into that more general niche. Of, exactly, which is yeah. why I think we were confusing yeah. about defining Agreed. sidewalk. Agreed. That's why we're doing this. Because yeah. I was pushing you on that because I just every time you spoke about it, all I heard was slowly and I couldn't figure out. Mm. And now, now we've nailed it down. Yeah. Now we've nailed it down. And now I understand what you meant before because you were all over the place. And I'm like, well, what about divorcement? You're like, don't get specific yet. Yet. So I think exactly. the key word we're missing is yet, yet because the single men, you can't just yeah. write, there's no article I could write about single yeah. men. That's, that's just way too broad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah. Okay, so now let's talk, let's summarize. So sidewalk yeah. is single men. I like that. Slow is has pain, but hasn't really checked out anything as far as solution goes. Maybe read a book one of the days. They're not. They're not solution aware. Um, or they haven't. They haven't checked no, out solutions. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say they haven't checked out solutions. I okay. would. I would say that they maybe haven't checked out your solution. Okay. Right. So just doesn't know me. Pain and doesn't know me from anybody else. Yeah. Uh, well, keep in mind that for them to be on the sidewalk in your funnel, they have to know you. They don't have to know what you do or how you can help them, but. For them to be on the sidewalk, they have to have already like opted into your audience one way or another, whether that's a retargeting pixel or whether that's them joining your email list. Yes, but can't they enter your funnel from the slow lane? Yes, 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 they can, but I don't yeah. think we need to talk about that right now. Like, well, once... no, I'm just trying to define the lanes. We're still on the mindset. We're still thinking of the gap. So pain and doesn't know me. Let's just put it this way. They, 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 they can find you through anything that you do through the sidewalk, slow lane, like, or fast lane. But depending on how you set this up, you don't actually want to show them slow lane stuff until they've like passed through your, like your, your sidewalk or whatever. So you might get someone that enters your funnel in the sidewalk sort of section yeah. and they may just move straight through the slow lane, but they will still enter through like through the sidewalk, sure, right? Sure. And that, that's like a lead magnet, right? Sure. But some, I mean, some of the content is already slow. So I don't know. We'll, we'll get to the content stuff. We got to wait. We're, 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 I think we're ahead of ourselves. So I just want to decide the mindset. So single man, pain, uh, maybe some solution checking out, but doesn't know me. Fast lane, pain, knows me, ready to act. It doesn't know your solution, not doesn't know you. Uh, understands your method, though. Isn't that understand your solution? That's what I'm saying. Slow lane doesn't, doesn't know your solution, not doesn't know you. There's a very important distinction there. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying that's what it says. I'm saying what, from what you just said, right? It's not that they know don't my, know you. It's they don't know, know your method. Doesn't know my solution. Don't okay. yeah. Doesn't so know your solution. they could know me and still. No, no, they solution. should know you. That's what I'm saying. Uh, like that's okay. what I'm saying. They should know you. Got it. If they don't know you, then they're not in the slow lane yet, right? Well, no, because that they, they know their pain, so they could enter from many. No, 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 no. They're not right, in your audience. They're not just, in. They're not in your audience. This is not just like like I can't say that a maid service owner that doesn't know who Zenmaid is is part of like the Zenmaid funnel that's following this if they don't know who we are. If they know that they have this pain, but they don't know who you are yet, then they're not part of your funnel yet. But they're so. They're, but they're not sidewalk. That's what I'm. They're, but they're, they're not part of your funnel at all. They're not anything because they don't know who you are. They have to know who you are to be a part of your funnel. But once they enter your funnel, they're jumping. If they're a sidewalk, whatever, they're moving right into slow lane because they know their problem. Possibly, it depends on how you show them the content. My point is that doesn't matter. Okay. Like, well, like this is not important for us to be discussing. Like, okay, just that's fine. like, right, right, right. but I was just like, trying to get clarity. On that. They have to know who you are to be a part of this. Period. All right. All right. Uh, commitment level. So, sidewalk is low, less than three minutes. It says. Yeah. So, less than three minutes. So, what does that mean? 
Okay, great question. question. Great question. So commitment level less than three minutes. And so this is saying that, so uh, Scott Oldberg does a lot of video content. And so his stuff is talking about video here, right? And so what that means is if you can find something that will add value to people in less than three minutes, then that is likely going to be a good sidewalk thing. And so essentially that's just the mindset of if there's someone that you're not familiar with, it's not a friend of a friend, you've never heard of the guy, seen his book, anything like that, you're not likely to sit through a five or 15 minute presentation, right? So, so people, this is really a doesn't know me kind of thing, three minutes. Yes, exactly, because it's for the sidewalk, right? So, the, yeah. so, so, and so, so for this, so the commitment level right here is to uh, get them from the sidewalk to the slow lane, I believe, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is going to be content for cold traffic. Okay. Right. So this, this is going to be cold. cold. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't know. Me, yeah. Right. Doesn't know you. Can it can come from anywhere, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Yeah. The source can be anywhere. The source but it's cold. can be anywhere, but it's cold. Right. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can do it for warm traffic if you're trying to get people to just like move from the sidewalk to the slow lane. Right. You could have people that are opted in or whatever. So like, it can actually be people that have already seen some of your stuff. But you know, but I they think could. they can would still be considered cold. Maybe not freezing cold, but still kind of cold. They're not really watching my stuff yet. Kind of. Yeah. They're, war they're warm leads, right? If they know who you are, then they're going to respond better than a cold lead, right? It's like my yeah. email list for Zenmade, right? Okay. You know? Um, okay, yeah. So you're going to have less than three minutes. And the point there is just delivering value quickly, okay. right? And so you can see, so we're going to go through two of these together, right? Because there's commitment level and then types of content. Uh, uh, the next one down is micro videos, short articles, and short form posts, Okay. right? So yeah, so let's, let's go down the sidewalk then. So, um, so if less than three minutes, the type of content we're going to go for is micro videos, short articles, short form posts. So micro, uh, short article, short post. Um, so three minutes, sorry. So three minutes is how long it takes to consume. I was thinking video, but it also means reading an article sure. or a downloadable PDF. Yes. Something like that. Sure, sure. Um, and now... Okay, because we, well, we haven't gotten. Okay, so this is really uh, where I wanted to talk more about yeah. to content because, okay, so we have length of content. I'm sorry, I lost track. Could you please rephrase that? Uh, you're not supposed to be on. <laughs> I've never used the voice thing on here. Go ahead. Yeah, so we have the length of the content. Uh, and I think we'll get to the types of content, but what is the actual content? What is the subject matter that I'm okay, aiming so, for? Okay, great question. So the sidewalk is to get anyone in your audience to essentially raise their hand and identify themselves would be to get them onto the sidewalk. So okay. that could be any sort of like lead magnet. If you're trying to get them to go from the sidewalk to the slow lane, then you can be... Um, so, so actually lane changer right here describes it best. So now understands and or admits the pain or problem inside their life. So essentially what you'd want is you'd want a three minute thing that might be like, uh, you know, how to approach, you know, women during, during, during the day or like a surefire line right? That, that, that works like during, during the day to start a conversation with, with like a girl, something like that, right? And something that you can teach them in three minutes on video, or you can write a short form. And the whole thing is you want to give them quick results. So that's really my, I mean, uh, I can build content around that, but that, I mean, that goes really well with my current lead magnet, which is how to approach exactly. women. Exactly. Like how to approach because guys, you know, it's actually how to approach without being creepy because the number one thing that, yeah guys have told me they're worried about especially if they have social skills or even mild social skills they don't want to be creepy yeah the whole me too thing so that's i mean I, I already built that out where it's just that's my lead magnet it doesn't give them lines per se but it just gives them how it breaks down the fear of being creepy which i think is huge so it's saying here this is okay just go up, talk to her say hi you know this is how you do it without creeping her out she's not going to be bothered yeah. everything's going to be cool you don't have to worry about that yeah so they're bound to get results just from even just trying where they didn't try before. Yeah, exactly. Right. And so, yes. And so then if you can take that and make it so that it goes from there to like, 
you're trying to make them problem aware. So the idea is to help them to start approaching and to actually get some results, but also to expose other things they need help with, right? And that's something like Scott is really good at that with the stuff that he does is that it's actually very valuable, but you can also tell that there's so much more that can be done, right? Because implementing it is actually quite complicated. If we didn't have Bunty on our team managing all of our Facebook ads, I couldn't be doing a lot of the stuff like here, right? I could be following it with my email list, like sort of, but it wouldn't be as clean. And being able to do it with Facebook ads, you know, makes like makes a big difference, right? And so, yeah, so you want to get them a, a fast result. So for Zenmade, it's 47 keywords. They can copy and paste those, and that's all that's necessary, right? There's five tools, which is just five tool recommendations like other software companies, right? For ads that they can just plug in immediately. But the idea is that they're very quick to consume, they add value, and they get results. And that right there, that's how you get people opening your emails. That's how you get people engaging with you when you create new stuff. It's adding that value in the beginning. When else did I mean, so I do think I'm doing the right track with that. Uh, mm -hmm. My article's really geared towards like things not to do to, to, you know, things that will turn women off so that you're like, you stop those things, things will get a little bit better. Yeah. It's also a problem where like, oh, I'm doing these things. That's why women aren't liking me. Right. Mm -hmm. So I've already put out content. That, um, another content piece was like how uh, Tinder hurts men's self-esteem. So it's really like social commentary and also like this is how the algorithm's like screwing with guys' self-esteem and things like that. Um, and, and really why you're not getting matches on Tinder. Yeah. So that's, I think, I think, I think it sounds like really good sidewalk content because it's like, oh, this is why you're not getting matches. Uh, yeah. Right? That, yeah, that, that's probably a good, a good one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and so, I mean, there's a couple ways that we can, you know, continue with this, right. Of we can talk about it. I mean, I think it'd be better to actually talk about, yeah, like sort of high level in your business. But the other thing is that you can apply this to very specific things. So right now you're obviously doing, you know, a master class on online dating and what Tinder Bumble and something else or whatever that we could talk about about like that specific like yeah. funnel right okay. or or okay yeah let's go i mean like i i think it'd be good to talk more generally but also to keep that in mind well okay so i mean i was thinking of filling the box so we can do the opposite we can break down my funnel and talk about what different pieces are doing what and whether they're fitting well, that, that's the that. fastest fastest path to cash right, right? So, is taking the stuff that you already have okay. created because right, like that's one of the things I want to do in the future is I want to help people that already have content to pretty much restructure it like this so that it actually gets them results okay. instead of them having to create new content to build this out. Okay, right. perfect. So I've already done something like that, but let's, let's go through my funnel then, my current funnel that I have. Okay. Take me so, through So um, we have our traffic sources, um, which actually started out on Reddit. So these guys would post, uh, dating help so they'd make a post about needing dating help then uh we'd contact them saying hey well, just just so you're, okay, you're doing yeah. reddit and then what else reddit uh, you brought a okay, facebook reddit, group reddit facebook group um organic well it actually starts with organic posting on my wall to get them into the facebook group that's fine that's still facebook I don't okay care. yeah facebook, facebook organic what, where else uh facebook ad running one ad to cold traffic? To cold traffic. Okay. I need to do retargeting, but I, I started with cold traffic. Um, uh, if I can just make a very quick suggestion there, that's completely backwards. You're going to waste a bunch of money on cold traffic. Start with retargeting. Retargeting. Well, I had to build the audience first, right? I mean, but you already had people like coming no. to your site, didn't you? No. Okay. Not, when, not when I started the app. I would start retargeting as quickly as possible. Right. Retargeting is very, very Much cheap. Cheaper. And you, if, you're, if you're retargeting, let's say, 40 people on Facebook, you can write insanely specific posts, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I like that. I actually, I like retargeting. I think Scott has really gotten me on to that of like, I love retargeting small audiences. Right, right so here. I need it. I'll get it. Yeah, we don't need to talk about that because I'm, I'm just going to dig right into that. Um, so retargeting, so I need it. That's a big one for me right now. Okay. Um, and I can retarget with, we can talk about the content to be, to retarget with, uh, or the content of the ads. Okay. So then Facebook, organic, Reddit, we discussed LinkedIn. I have not done LinkedIn yet. So I don't know what we want to talk about there. Um, and then what else? I think that's it. That's yeah. Cool. We, can, we can keep it there. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So then, so, so from, so from there, 
Um, where are you directing all of that traffic to? Uh, all of it's going to an email list. Uh, where are people joining the email list? So they can join the email list from all these different places. How? So they can jo so from Reddit, it's an outbound outreach. They do a survey uh, and then they can join the list or they get on a call with me. So you're sending them to a survey. That's what I mean. The yes. email list, you're skipping a step there. You're not, oh, none, okay. of, those survey, are, survey, none of those are, are, are going direct to your email list. So where are they being sent? Okay. They're so sent Reddit to a is survey, to a survey. Okay. And then that first. book, they, that can eventually lead to email list or a call with me. Okay. Um, now, uh, so like LinkedIn, where would you send people to? Uh, well, I haven't done it yet. So we where, where would you guys, why I'm asking? Uh, my guess is Facebook group. Okay. Or could cool. go to email okay. list. Okay. I so, don't know. so what, don't, what depends about, that's fine. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Not important. Okay. So yeah. then what about your Facebook organic and everything? You're really just trying to get them into your Facebook group, right? Uh, or yeah. Well, Facebook organic goes to Facebook group, goes to email list. Okay. Email list Cause, is cause what I was going to say is, I mean, honestly, it sounds like your email list and your Facebook group are almost on equal levels, right? Like really, really, if you want to add value to people, you want to get them from every platform to join your Facebook group. And then at some point you want to get them on the email list or the other way around. But, email list, I can always control forever and I always get no yeah, yeah, sense to them. Okay, but I'm, I'm just saying that like from Reddit, for example, it'd probably help you to get them into the Facebook group because you've got social proof there. There's engagement. They're more likely, you know, to actually remember who you are and then you can find ways to get them onto your email. Well, list, I could also right? go email us to Facebook group from Reddit. One thing about Reddit is they're anonymous there and they don't want to be in a Facebook group. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So yeah, I'd rather fine. go them to the email list and okay. then I can pitch the email list, the yeah. Facebook group so, and the email list. I already am. I already yeah. am pitching the Facebook group and the email list. Okay, so... I mean, email list is huge for me. I can email it. I just, yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. It's mine. Um, I control yeah, it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, any other questions on the sidewalk stuff? Um, well, we haven't even gotten to, we haven't gotten to the content I'm using for all these channels. Uh, and then breaking that down. Because we know, I know what the sidewalk is, we know what the slow lane is, we know what the fast lane is, but uh, now we have the setup of my funnel. We need to talk about the content I should be putting. Okay. All right, where do you want to start? Um, I guess we'll just stop, start at the top of the funnel, right? So um, the, let's see. Yeah, I mean, so, so for, for the sake of just like keeping it like short and productive, let's like 80, 20 it. So if you had to pick like, let's say two of those channels, right? I assume you do Reddit and Facebook. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so why don't, we, why don't we talk about Reddit and Facebook, right? Okay. Uh, because it's, it's, uh, it's finding a single funnel that works. That's like the start of every good business in my opinion, right? Is that if you can find one funnel that works really well, you can't rely on that long term, but that's what you need to get everything off the ground right now is you just need one to work. Well, we don't even need right? to work, talk about the Reddit funnel because that's already a survey funnel that's already set up and automated. Okay, why don't you take me through that? Just because just because it's set up doesn't mean that like it can't be like made better. It oh, doesn't sure, mean sure, that, yeah. that that can't be like the main thing, right? So I, I would not just assume that we don't need to talk sure. about that. So so the way the Reddit funnel works yeah. is uh, they make a post on Reddit. Yeah. Uh, they get a uh, private message from from my VA. They respond that uh, it's an offer for. Uh, 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 free tips in exchange for completing the survey. How how many of these like responses are you getting? Um, I got to run the numbers again. Yeah, I mean ballpark. I don't care exactly. Yeah, it's it doesn't a make lot. A difference to me. It's a lot. Like it's probably at least half or more than half are responding. No, but how many? I don't. I don't know what that means. Well, we're doing how, like how 20, many responses are you getting a day? Like, like just, ten to twenty. Uh, no, not ten to twenty. Five to ten. Five to ten responses a day. Okay. Something like that. Maybe a little less. Probably one. All right. Okay. Five to seven. I don't know. Something like um. I would. What happens after they fill out the survey? So, if they fill out the survey, um, they are, well, they're qualified on the survey, and they 
uh, are offered actually at the end of the survey, they have an uh, opt-in option, CTA, so opt-in for the guide. And then if they, uh, as well, when they, they are given the tips and either given the opt-in or an uh, offer to get on a free call, strategy call with me. Okay. All right, and so if they opt in for the guide and they don't take the call with you, what happens? They go to the email list. Anything else? Just the same same free guide email list. And any, anything else? Um, that's it. Okay, I would look at how many people are taking that action and I would start reaching out to them one-on-one -on -one to anyone that doesn't take you up on the call offer, right? Whether it's like feedback on their stuff, this is like a do things that aren't scalable type thing that you probably don't have more than two people a day that are like, you know, opting not to take the call with you and you dropping them a quick one-on-one -on -one message saying, hey, I looked through like your survey, here's like my additional thoughts, like or whatever, I guarantee you'll, you'll get considerably more calls on a regular basis by just doing that little bit of follow-up. What am I offering in the follow up? Don't offer anything. Just have a conversation with them. Help them out. Okay, There's nothing good. to offer, okay, right? Good. Like this is one so, like don't try to automate it, yeah, right? Yeah, don't try to don't, templatize don't it. Don't take the call. If they don't take the call, then uh, don't follow up with them. Follow up, offer help. Follow up, offer help. Okay, cool. All right, Reddit, don't take the call, I'll follow up after. Okay, that's it. Yeah, okay, so then, um, yeah, but I mean, that sounds like it's pretty solid for you and working like and working well. Um, how long does the survey take them? It's pretty fast, I assume. Uh, yeah, less than 10 minutes, eight minutes, seven, five minutes. Okay, well, it cool. just depends yeah, so on how much they want to put. Like it asks about their struggle and they can type as much or as little okay, as, they as they want. want. So. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, okay. So that's, um, yeah, that's solid. That sounds, that sounds really, really good. Um, that's going to build you up. Uh, yeah, with that, I would just say, think about other ways that you can engage those, the, those people like more one-on-one -on -one or in community or like, or, or, or whatever, uh, cause if they're taking the time to fill that out, then like that there's, there's value there. Right. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay, cool. So then I guess let's talk about Facebook then quickly. Yeah. So Facebook is, um, uh, I'm adding guys in different groups, adding guys that have, you know, that are single, that are interested in any of this stuff. So expressed interest in any of the groups that are in dating um, and, or, and or single on their profiles. And then from there, um, I putting out uh, content on the my personal wall. Oh, okay, so so when you when you say Facebook, you're like you're actually using Facebook to to generate leads, isn't like you're adding like random guys on, yes. on Facebook. Yes, yeah. okay. and that's actually how my how I'm doing things that don't scale to get my group. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I was gonna say because your your group seems to be growing quite quite nice. Oh yeah, I've been hustling so, hard for those. Yeah, no, I, I'm thinking I may do the same thing for for software people. I may. Uh, yeah, I may may do the do the same thing to build to build a SaaS group. Yeah, so um, so adding single go, content in the personal wall to my Facebook group, and also I'm really hustling until uh, Facebook starts showing mine in search as well. Anyways, I mean I should still keep going it until I need the time back, but um, as, yeah, yeah, I'm just really pushing the numbers in my Facebook group until until search picks up. Okay, cool. Um, so that's been building my Facebook group. I'm at 168 in about the first month. Not bad. Okay. And I don't add anyone. I don't, you know, I don't know if that's a thing or not, but now you can add people and I just don't, cause I don't think that. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's they're, what they're, I'm saying there. They should, they should opt in. They should they opt in, yeah, them. exactly. If they don't opt in, they're not gonna be engaged. Exactly, so yeah, doing yeah. That. Yeah, so, so you're not focused on vanity metrics and that's important. Exactly, yeah. Okay, as long as they so then so what happens once they're in the Facebook group? Tell me more about so that. So the Facebook group, uh, I'm really pumping content in there into the group itself. Uh, I am. You want to know about the content, or you know when to know where they're going? Yeah, I want to know about the funnel. I don't care about the content. I okay, so the funnel they go from the group to uh, email list, okay, or um, to an direct to an offer. 
from the Facebook group, like my master class. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that just means you're, you're making your offers to both your email list and your Facebook. Yes. Group, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay, cool. So um, tell me a little bit more about your email list. Sure. So, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of wasn't sure what to do, you know, email marketing, things like that, especially with nobody on the list to start. Um, so for the emails, what I've finally implemented, I have a SOAP sequence. Does your audience know what SOAP is? Um, isn't that like JLD's? It's Brunson, Russell Brunson. Uh, could you go through it quickly? Uh, SOAP is like uh, SOAP opera. So it's like cliffhangers and basically it's a welcome, it's five day welcome sequence to your email list. It's like, welcome to the list. And then it's like a story of your origin story. And then it's like your, your big awakening, your aha moments, um, the hero's journey, uh, overcoming your challenges, and then the solution that you, know, you came up with and uh, leads to a call to action of whatever is next in the funnel. For me, it's uh, the, uh, the VSL webinar that leads to a call with me. Because I'm trying to get as many calls as possible. Right How now. long is the VSL? Uh, Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. And mm -hmm. then after that, they go to um, sequence of emails. I'm trying to remember the exact order, but uh, it's a lot of stories uh, that lead <coughs> to a pitch for the Facebook group, uh, for the uh, sorry group coaching. Okay. Yeah. So some of them are call, try to get on a call with me. Some other are, are straight to the group, group coaching. Page. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so the, yeah, so that goes to the offer. And then, yeah, they're mainly like Ben Settle type story emails with like a lesson and then like more to it. Okay, sounds good, cool. Um, all right, so what do we think? Uh, yeah. Okay. So that, that all like sounds, uh, sounds good. So yeah, what, what this is talking about a lot is like Facebook. That's why I was saying that Facebook retargeting is so important, right? That I think we should actually jump to the fast lane because that's where you can make like the biggest impact. Cause you are, you are, I think you're, I think you're naturally better at building the audience. And so I think if you focus on the end of the funnel, that's where you can like, you know, change your results like the most, right? So um, tell me about these products that you're, um, yeah, well, what would you say? Like, so the email list, you're trying to get them to do this, the 30 minute VSL and then what else? The, so the 30 minute VSL is just to book a call. My goal is to get as many calls as possible. Right? Okay, and so you're 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 helping them on the, on that VSL. What's that VSL about? The VSL is like five major shifts they need to make to have success. Okay, so it's gotcha. Ment it's mental. It's like their mental. Okay, shifts. yeah. So you're following this almost exactly then, right? So if you look at that, that's your slow lane content, right? Yes. Because your slow lane content is yeah, it's a little bit longer than 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 what like he's recommending, but that that's okay, particularly if it's working for you. And then you're getting them from there on to actual phone calls. So I mean, yeah. you're, you're nailing it there, okay. right? That's, okay. that's awesome. So what you're really going to want to do here, like the first thing you're going to want to do, because you are beginning to build an audience is so now start retargeting people and anyone that has seen your, or anyone that has seen, let's see, find a way to identify the people that are already in your audience on Facebook. And so by that, like one way to do it would be just basic retargeting. So if they've hit your website, then they, then you just show them just like use the this, this just stuff. Use my pixel. Yeah. yeah. You can get way more complicated with it though. So for example, if someone has visited a lead magnet, thank you page for Zenmade, then we stop showing them our lead magnet. But is right. it is it almost too granular right now? Do I just probably do, you can like, probably you can probably just do just basic retargeting, I don't want to go through right? All you, that's yeah, too you, small. you can you can just do basic retargeting. So if you yeah, just so do basic, just if you basic, just do basic yeah. retargeting. My pixel. Let's say my pixel. If you just do basic retargeting, then like this, then you can just run ads to your slow lane, right? So I'm running ads to my oh, sorry to to your slow lane resource, the one that we were just talking about. So to can, my free guide. No, not to your free guide. Free guide would be, so would you'd want to send your free guide to cold traffic so they can opt in for your free guide, right? What I'm saying is retarget everyone. To the with webinar? Your, yes, with your webinar. Okay, because that's my ad right now. It's going to the webinar. Your, 
my 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 cold traffic ads. I don't traffic. think that'll work very well for you. You're asking a lot of people that don't know who you are. That's not like you want to be using okay. a sidewalk thing to be targeting cold traffic. I'd be very surprised if you're actually. I'm getting a lot of calls from it. So I just need. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if it's working for you, then then it is then, but then by by, by by all means, yeah. right? But in in theory, what you'd want to do is is you'd want to actually only show that to the people that are already all, like in your sidewalk, right? So what I would actually do is I would change that to a retargeting ad and then advertise your free guide to people to get them to opt in, right? Okay, so you can just switch it out. Yeah, you can just switch okay. it over, yeah, right? Working, and if they, and if they even visit, so if they visit the free guide page, okay. you can still retarget them with this, even if they didn't opt in for the free guide, and that'll probably get you better results. If I retarget to where? If you retarget people that essentially clicked over to your website, okay. even if they didn't download the guide, yeah. you'll still have a better rate by, by doing that. Now, the only thing is this is where you want to track things because if for whatever reason you've just done a really good job with the ad copy or whatever, and people are clicking over to this video like crazy in comparison to the guide, then maybe you do actually want to use this for your, your cold traffic, right? And there's definitely times where content we think is going to be in the slow lane ends up being awesome sidewalk content, right? And that might be the case here, right? So yeah, you, you might actually be onto something, but I think it's worth trying the other way and seeing what happens, okay. right? Uh, the other thing with that is that I think you had mentioned before that you were struggling at one point with people like not showing up for the calls, yeah. right? And so that's gonna happen a lot less if you do retargeting to people that have already shown an amount of interest in you yeah. versus cold traffic, right? So like at that point, it's which do you value more? Is do you want people to, to visit your site bail on the calls but now you've got them pixeled or would you rather get you know a little bit more of an opt-in at the beginning so you so you only retarget the people who have like shown like more interest right and so there, there's different schools of thought there yeah so well, that's also like my follow-up sequence wasn't firing so like once they're getting my emails of like thanks for opting in excited for our call type stuff they're more yeah, likely yeah, to show yeah. up yeah, so yeah, it's just really if, frustrating because my I looked at it, my sequence wasn't emailing. Like yeah, my Zapier yeah. wasn't working. Okay, so, so, you know, you've already like fixed that, then yeah, doesn't yeah. matter, right? So yeah. if you've already fixed that, then you'll get better results there, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's like the first thing that, 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 that I would do. And then from, from there, what I would do is so if you want to get really good results here with your Facebook pixel, you can retarget people just if they hit a specific page. Yeah, yeah. And so then what you do is for your fast lane, you run ads to the smallest segment of your audience advertising a call, and you only run that to people that hit your webinar page or your VSL yeah. page. Right. But again, I, I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I want to just, like, I think that's actually the most basic implementation of this. Okay. That this is not like, so like don't want page. to get ahead of yourself. Right. Like, if they hit the VSL page, you should be retargeting them with an ad for them to jump on the phone call. And okay, if you do specific that- Specific page retargeting. Specific page retargeting, so right? I, can I, uh, is it a different pixel I have on there? No, no, no. Well, you should have one pixel across the entire site. And then when you're running the ad, you can say it only targets like pages that end in this or whatever. Okay, I'll have to figure that out. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, but but the whole thing is, is you, you can see, so you've got some, so now from what we've talked about is you run cold traffic to the guide, right? You run all of your slow lane people, right? So people that have already hit your website and that you're just generally retargeting, you send all of them- Back to the VSL. Back to the VSL. And then once they hit the VSL page, then you only show them ads to jump on the call with you. And okay. if you do that VSL along with your well. email list, you'll you'll see an immediate jump okay like an immediate jump okay and then okay and what about we gotta end soon but um yeah linkedin we were talking about uh let's talk about linkedin another time okay. that's like we you're you're not doing anything on linkedin yet so yeah, yeah. But we were talking about okay yeah. we'll do it another time yeah like all I'll say on, on LinkedIn to maybe um, to maybe get me started for the next time is I'm about to start running paid ads on LinkedIn for ZenMade, and I'm starting out by trying to mirror what's already working for me on other channels because it's the easiest to implement. 
And if those don't get me the results that I want, then I'll really think about it like separately and figure out, you know, what do we need to do differently? But I'm trying to see if one of our existing lead magnets that works well on Facebook is just going to kill it for us, you know? So I want to see how this info product funnel setup is doing. Uh, yeah. Okay. So anything else um, with, with that? That's um, it. I think we're good. Think we're good? Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, nope. There's not anything new in here. So it sounds like I am already doing a lot of that stuff. Yeah, you are right. But it's just being, it's just about being a little bit more intentional with it. And the whole thing is you can see that you already have a lot of the existing like puzzle pieces in place. It's really just about figuring out when to show it to them and everything. Right. Cause you know, the, yeah, like I hadn't realized that you were running that that 30 minute VSL to cold traffic, like even with it firing, you probably still are not going to have the best show up rate if the people that are scheduling those calls with you don't even know who, who you are, right? Just like them feeling bad about completely flaking on a call with someone that's a stranger online yeah, yeah. is much less than like if they see it as an opportunity because they've had value added to them like elsewhere. And well, stuff, that's what I was right? wondering always about cold traffic because I was following like high ticket funnel and they're just running cold mm -hmm. traffic to a high ticket. I'm like, okay, I don't know how they do that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I would, I would think that even for them, they would do better by still starting out with a lower, a lower thing, right? And like nurturing people and then going for that high ticket but like sale. Their but their motto is just like webinar is a cold ad. Web, well, obviously lots of retargeting too. They're not doing that alone, but cold, cold, uh, cold ad to webinar to a call to, to a closing high ticket. Yeah. I don't know. That's their model and that's, they have a shit ton of testimonials. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, guys, we're going to sign off here. Oh, so, um, yeah, still recording. Yeah, thank, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah thanks for uh, listening in. If you listen to this entire call, didn't really click around all that much. Pretty much just showed you guys Scott's little thing here. But, uh, yeah, I hope this was a little bit enlightening. And, honestly, we just recorded this so Josh can re-listen to it later if he wants to, to uh, sort of, like, implement and stuff. And I think we should do another one of these for Zenmate. I'd, I'd love to show you everything that we're doing, but then get your input because I'm sure just yeah. looking at this matrix that you'd probably have questions as to like why I decided to do it this way and I'm sure we'd recognize lots of things that I should reconsider so yeah okay cool ending the recording and meeting